Hello fellow fellow words, welcome back to Fan Scene. Greg here, and today I have for you my review of the new full moon movie, Barbie and Kendra Crash Joe Bob's Drive In Jamboree. I am a huge, huge fan of full moon movies. I'm a huge, huge fan of Joe Bob Briggs, and they come together in this fourth installment of the Barbie and Kendra series on Full Moon Features, which I've been looking forward to this for quite some time. The movie stars uh, Cody Renee. Cameron, uh, Robin Sidney. It also stars Joe Bob Briggs as Joe Bob Briggs. Diana Prince as Darcy the Mel Girl. Felissa Rose as Studio. Uh, Dave Sheridan makes an appearance in this as well. Dave Sheridan is awesome. And, uh, you know, it's directed by Charles Band. And this movie was just a fun... It's billed as the ultimate midnight movie. And you know what? It does feel like a midnight drive-in movie. It is really it's really well done. And uh, I, it's got that full moon feel to it. Uh, the, it's just it's great. So Barbie and Kendra, the bimbos as they are effect affectionately called, they're sitting around and, you know, they're talking about the man of their dreams. That man has got to wear boots, who likes trashy films, who drinks beer, and who likes, you know, uh, the freaks and geeks of the world. And just so happens uh, while they're talking about that, a commercial with Joe Bob Ricks comes on their TV talking to them about the drive-in jamboree, Joe Bob's drive-in jamboree. So guess what? Barbie and Kendra head out to the Las Vegas drive-in jamboree, Joe Bob's drive-in jamboree, to find him and profess their love for Joe Bob Briggs. And uh, so they head there, they get to the drive-in and right there at the drive-in, you know, things really start to really pop off. Uh, they bump into Felissa Rose's character who is Studio, which I absolutely love that name, uh, who's buying up all the land and wants to shut down the drive-in and build a golf course. And she hates everybody in the black shirts and all the freaks and weirdos there. It's, it's really great scene. She's this really great bitchy character in the movie that just really works well. Phyllis Rose is just chewing it up. Uh, it's awesome. She's, she, she definitely needed some more screen time, uh, screen time in this movie. And so Barbie and Kendra, you know, they're going around trying to find Joe Bob and everything, but you know, they, they're easily sidetracked and, uh, and stuff like that. So, you know, they want some popcorn, they want some nachos, they get inside this hearse and you know because they come in on a motorcycle and then they get in on this hearse so they can watch the movie and it's this really meta drive-in movie thing where there's a drive-in movie within the drive-in movie right because they're at the drive-in and this is very much a drive-in type movie and so there's their drive-in movie which i cannot for the life of me place what movie it really is because it looks very familiar i know i've seen it before but i can't place the movie but it's dubbed over it's called ruby's drive-in the movie they're watching uh written by william butler by the way who is a, a student of full moon and multiple other horror movies uh and it has some of the best dubbed over lines dialogue i have ever heard it is freaking hilarious as we're watching this movie because a lot of the movie is made up of you know barbara barbie and kendra at the drive-in trying to find joe bob but then most of it is also like this drive-in movie within this drive-in movie that they're watching because uh, so, it's called Ruby's Drive-In and they're watching this movie called Turkish Exorcist which is in turn of the uh, reboot and it ha has some of the best lines oh my god the dubbed over lines like uh, one of my favorite lines was uh, she's lazy Hollywood uh, movie making has turned everybody's brain to shit which is great because, like, they're possessed, and that's one of the reasons. And then, like, there's this other great line where uh, they're saying, "Daughter, uh, Doctor, what's wrong with my teenage daughter? Uh, well, she spends all day watching uh, her uh, a tablet, uh, Netflix, and uh, HBO Max, and Disney Plus, and she even says she likes Book of Boba Fett. There's something wrong with her. <laughs> so it was really great lines. It was really great dubbed over, and it's really funny. So we cut back and forth between you know, that drive-in movie within drive-in movie and what Kendra, Kendra and Barbie's doing. And Kendra and Barbara went, uh, Barbie, sorry, Barbie and Kendra went to uh, inform Joe Bob of what a studio is doing, Felicia Rose's character is doing. And, you know, on the way they bump into Dave Sheridan and he, you know, they tickle him and he's got a great line that says he's got tickle cell anemia, <laughs> which is great. It's a great line. You know, he, they have this little fun interaction with him and he talks about, you know, you know, what he does if they, if he wanted him to do this, this and that. It's a great line. And then eventually they do get to meet Joe Bob and, uh, you know, they flash Joe Bob. So, like, if you're looking for some boobs, there is some boobs in this movie. Um, you know, uh, about eight pair, you know, uh, and uh, four of them you do get to see the full boobage. But, like, they flash Joe Bob and Joe Bob really likes it. And you have this great interaction between Joe Bob and Darcy uh, with 
the Barbie and Kendra and they forget, they forget what they want to tell him, you know, because they, they discovered that they're weird and they asked Joe Bob, are we weird? And Joe Bob gives this really great speech about how, yes, they are weird. And we, they, he accepts them because we, he, we accept all the weird and freaks and geeks and weirdos of the world, the mutant fam, which I really, I love the spirit of that in this movie, which, you know, the mutant fam has built up around Joe Bob's the last drive in. It's just like these people who love these trashy drive in type movies. And, uh, you know, Barbie, and Kendra are very much welcome into that. And so they go back to the hearse and they bump into a couple more people. And then, uh, you know, they finally realize what they need to do uh, as the, we cut in between the drive-in movie within the drive-in movie with some more great lines and dubbing. The dubbing is perfect. It's hilarious. And then uh, they finally remember what they got to do. And they head out to Joe Bob. And I, I, I don't want to spoil too much more because I feel like I've already spoiled way too much of this movie. So be aware there's spoilers. Uh, but, you know, they, you know, they, it all turns out well for everybody. And Felisa Rose has another great line in this movie because I really just love the dialogue in this movie. The dialogue was great. The plot's a little thin, but the dialogue is absolutely great in this movie. And Felisa Rose has another great line in it. Ow, my dick. So, <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. But I, I, I highly recommend this movie. If you're a fan of Full Moon movies, if you're a fan of uh, Joe Bob Briggs and The Last Drive and Monster Vision, his, you know, Joe Bob Briggs in general, and Darcy the Mel Girl, uh, Diana Prince, I, I do recommend this movie. Uh, it's great. Uh, uh, Cody, Renee, Cameron, and uh, Robin Sidney really knock it out of the park as, like, you really feel these two are, are friends, you know. They do a great job of, like, they remind me of, like, those 90s, like, in the 90s, how we had, like, Beavis and Butthead, Bill and Ted, uh, Barbie and Kendra, I think, fit right in with that. It feels it feels very much in that vein, and they play very well off each other. They're really great. Uh, you know, their their comedic timing is pretty good, and then like the, this, their interactions with Joe Bob and Joe Bob's presence in the movie and the speeches are great. This has a very much like a Roger Corman type movie feel to it. Which is really, really good because we've recently lost Roger Corman. And, uh, you know, I kept, I sort of felt Roger Corman in spirit in this movie, which I know he was at the uh, drive in last year. Uh, it was his last interview. Um, man, I got to get out to the Joe Bob uh, drive in jamboree one year when I can, when I can make it. But because this was actually filmed at the drive in jamboree, jamboree from last year. Uh, right there, you know, in Las Vegas. It was filmed during that jamboree, which is awesome. So there are cameos from mutants, the mutant fam, in the movie. So th that is awesome. I loved it. Uh, but yes, Charles Band's directing is great. The dubbing and the lines are awesome. Barbie and Kendra are amazing. Joe Bob is great. Darcy is great. Uh, I love this movie. Um, I definitely think you got to be a fan of these type of movies to really enjoy these movies. If you're a fan of like trashy drive-in movies, full moon movies, Roger Coleman style movies, this is definitely going to be up your alley. If you're not, this probably won't be up your alley, but it is up to me. Uh, like I said, the biggest problem I had was maybe the plot's a little thin. Maybe we could use a little more Felissa Rose uh, on that. But other than that, I mean, this was just, it was utterly hysterical and fun, fun all around. Uh, I, I, you know, Greg Bob says, check it out four stars. Uh, but that's what I, that's my review for uh, Barbie and Kendra Crass, Joe Bob's drive-in jamboree. If you've seen it, if you're going to see it, or if I've inspired you to see it, uh, leave that in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this review, this movie, or uh, some of your favorite Joe Bob stuff, some of your favorite full moon movies. Let me know that in the comment section down below. And if you liked what you saw here, maybe consider hitting that like button or subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications. That would be awesome if I earned you guys' subscriptions or possibly share the video out for everybody to see. Or join and become channel members because that would help out my channel immensely. Thank you and shout out to all my channel members. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys for being channel members here and for all of your support. And to everybody watching, whether you liked me, hated me, or liked this video, or hated this video, I thank you for sticking this long. Wherever you all are, please have a great, safe, happy, healthy day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Always support physical media. It truly is the superior format. And the drive-in will never die. Godspeed.